Welcome to the questions and answers uh, for the film Motherlands by Gabriel Babsi. It is its world premiere yesterday at the Yehlava International Film Festival. Uh, and it was part of the first lights uh, competition section. Uh, I'll just shortly explain how to ask questions. You can either use Q&A uh, and type your question in it, or you can raise your hand and then speak out to the, to the microphone. Uh, in such case, you just agree that your voice uh, will be part of the, and your, your, you will be part of the recording that will be available for all the, all the festival visitors during the old festival. The questions, the, the debate is going to be in English, so please ask in English if possible. Uh, my name is Nikola Krutilova. Today we have uh, the director of the film, Gabriel Babsi. And so the film Motherlands is, is a portrait of Hervé, a man who left Ivory Coast in 2012 and the civil war broke out. And Gabriel met him in 2012 in Greece while um, he was starting his new life there. Uh, well, my first question is, uh, if, uh, as, as the title of the film says, it was a coincidence, right? That you met, uh, you met in Greece. Was it your intention to, to make a film on such theme? Or was it, a, was it just because you met Hervé and it was so... Yeah. Uh, so it was not my intention at all, actually. Uh, because to tell the whole uh, story, I... Uh, moved uh, in Greece a couple of months before uh, I met Herbe. I was living at the time in Paris and I moved uh, for um, no particular reason. Uh, it was the time when Greece was uh, at the peak of uh, its economical crisis and I wanted to uh, tell a story about this uh, exceptional uh, moment for uh, a European country. So I was uh, interested, of course, in uh, migration, but was not, first of all, was not the top uh, topic of the, of the time. And then I was uh, interested as in everyone can be interested in uh, migration. So uh, by accident, I had met this guy and uh, this guy attracted me to uh, attracted me to uh, to know more about uh, migration, and I was um, Hervé interested me, and then every everything uh, came up. So the migration, uh, and I was uh, I dived into. Uh, this topic for, uh, for five years, but it was not my intention. It was really a, a, the meeting and uh, with this person, a one-to-one -one meeting that became a friendship and who led me to, uh, to try to understand what was happening. Okay, and could, could you also describe the process of making of the film? Like, um, uh, why do you decide to Keep shooting for five years. Why did you stop at the point where you stopped shooting? Mm -hmm. um, it started uh, um, because uh, it started very naturally. Um, Hervé uh, asked me uh, if you want to know the whole truth, just follow me. And I did follow him for, uh, for five years, but nothing was uh, written uh, in advance. Um, probably you can even uh, understand it from uh, the way I, I was filming, from the, the images, a kind of uh, urgency that I had at the moment. Uh, I just try to uh, to stick to uh, his life, to stick with uh, his environment, try to 
to melt into this unknown world that I was, uh, that I was confronted. Uh, obviously, it was not an everyday shooting because uh, we were also, we became also friends, normal friends, I mean. We were hanging out, drinking uh, beers. Um, so there were uh, significant parts of his life. I was uh, always there. And then I stopped. Uh, again, nothing was written. But at a certain moment, I understood uh, that uh, I had enough material to, uh, to tell his story in the more honest way, from my point of view. Uh, um, yeah, that's the, the procedure I, I followed. I can say now that I followed, but was uh, really, I was in the flow and uh, were more about perception that I had, more than uh, very written things, a written scenario. Because there was nothing actually, his life as you can imagine of a, an illegal immigrant was surprising every day in a good or bad way. So I could have uh, followed him uh, forever. I mean, uh, I had to stop and it was a natural stop when I felt that I could have uh, um, tell his story in the in the more uh, most honest way. Okay. Well, the film is very open and honest, as as, as you say. And didn't you have the dilemma if uh, the extent you show you show the truth could put him in danger? You know. Yeah. Of course. That was uh, that was and that is my main concern. Um, I got almost sick to think about the consequences of my acts, of our acts, because uh, I am the director, but he's uh, the protagonist who accepted. Um, I still have no answer. I mean, uh, um, as soon as, uh, because when I met him, uh, he wasn't doing, uh, he wasn't smuggling people. So a relation of trust was built way before he became a, what we can uh, consider as a criminal. Um, when he had the possibility to enter this new network, obviously, I mean, uh, if you if we keep con uh, continue this movie, we cannot step back anymore. So, are we aware of what we are doing? When we decided to uh, keep filming, at least awareness was frozen. So. Uh, it was, and it is still my concern. I will do everything I can to protect him. But we both wanted to uh, show a sad reality, a, the truth actually behind uh, a certain part of the underground world. Sounds from the from the beginning of the shooting, uh, there was not a point where you or Erve wanted to stop shooting, like when he started the criminal career, let's call it. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't for him the moment where he started hiding things and not want to show them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very uh, yeah, I understand. I understand, yeah. mm -hmm. I understand the, uh, what you're saying. Uh, I cannot have a, a clear answer uh, because obviously, I mean, um, I cannot claim that he told me uh, only the truth. And uh, but who's telling the truth? I mean, who's telling the truth all the time? Uh, but I mean, he never hide anything. 
uh, he never lied to me, at least. Probably, probably he hide something, of course, but he never lied to me. That was the, the most important thing. Uh, he had uh, many uh, chances to, uh, to take advantage of me because, I mean, uh, I am the one who has the paper. I am the one who is integrated in the society. And it's a great chance for uh, any migrant to have a... Uh, a European friend. And you can be, uh, I mean, uh, used to, uh, for a certain uh, goals. And uh, he proved me for uh, many times that uh, he was not there to take advantage of me. Uh, there are mysterious uh, reasons for him to, uh, uh, to allow me to share this part of his life. I have my answers because I was wondering for years why he gave me this chance. Because probably someone for the first time was uh, interested in this story because uh, they are feeling like ghosts. Everyone uh, see them in the street. Maybe they pity them. Maybe they feel uh, close to them. But few people uh, knows them directly, I mean, and uh, knows their struggles deeply. Probably he got uh, proud that uh, someone uh, was interested in his story. Maybe also he wanted to appear in a movie. Why not? I mean, <laughs> um, he, always, he was always telling me, that uh, I don't care about the consequences. The world needs to know that we are forced somehow to do what we're doing. Uh, I mean, as always, uh, truth is never a, a Manichaean uh, matter. There's no black and white. Uh, and it's very complicated to understand uh, an extreme situation like uh, the one over here. Thank you. At this point, I'll just repeat to the audience that they can ask any questions. Uh, either they can type them in the Q and A box, or they can they can just raise their hand. Uh, but since there are no other questions right now, I, I wanted to ask about the process of editing because. Uh, after five years, you probably had a lot of material. Were you editing with the editor like in between or just after four years? How was it? Mm -hmm. uh, as you can imagine, it was a nightmare, uh, a positive nightmare. I mean, even negative sometimes, but I mean, uh, it was very complicated. It was a very complicated process. Uh, I've met um, uh, Agnes, uh, my producer, after two years I was um, So we started after one year that we met each other. Um, and then we were just following the, my shooting. Uh, we started like uh, three years ago and then little by little, but obviously it was a very complicated process because I have a uh, material for a TV series, I mean. <laughs> so um, we, had, we had hundreds of, uh, of hours. So um, uh, yeah, it was a very complicated process. I mean, it was very little by little. It was not, the editing was, uh, was not made in one time. But when we had a story to develop, we started editing and then uh, uh, during, during the years, uh, we added uh, a brick to the, to the big wall okay. until we reached the end. And uh, in the process of editing, you have always uh, worked with the, 
the, the structure that you have or you tried also like chronological style? no yeah 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 of course of course of course of course of course i mean uh, uh, as uh, this movie was not at the beginning was not as i told you uh, really uh, well written in a clear scenario because i didn't have a scenario i was uh, fascinated by his story uh, so I wanted somehow to find a story on this guy. Uh, but the things were evolving all the time. Then I, I highlighted some, some, some parts of uh, his character, his behavior, his uh, ethics. And I developed the bones of the scenario. But of course, uh, we tried uh, several ways to, uh, to tell the story of this man and uh, the surrounding uh, environment in uh, at least two different ways. The way that you, I mean, of the, the actual movie and then in a chronological way, but we realized that the movie, the texture of the movie is too fragile to, uh, to create a, a real story um, in a chronological way. It had to be uh, more uh, urgent, more uh, um, dirty somehow, as uh, it was uh, while I was filming actually. Okay, and uh, like during the process, did you struggle uh, with your own role in it? You know, because you are <laughs> present in the film, but you're not uh, completely distant. And I was wondering, uh, what what was your choice? Like, you you didn't want to be just observer, obviously, and how you came to the decision? Uh, no, of course, of course. Um... The problem where um, uh, I faced a lot of problems of my role uh, in this movie. Because, um, as I told you, I mean, uh, our uh, relationship was uh, not only director, actor, actor, I mean, uh, protagonist, uh, but we were friends. So there's a lot of other uh, uh, things that come uh, together to complicate uh, more the role that I had to add in, uh, in this movie. Because I was filming, after a while I was filming a friend and it's much, uh, it's much more complicated to, uh, to deal with uh, the role of uh, director and the fact that this guy was a friend of mine. Then obviously, I mean, uh, the, the criminal part, because uh, we were aware, he, he, he was totally aware that uh, he could have been considered as a criminal. He was officially a criminal. What am I doing? Of course, I, I, I was wondering for three years. But then, uh, I mean, I realized somehow that uh, I was able to uh, keep my moral principle because uh, I had the chance to, uh, to, to keep it. But if I was in uh, his situation, what would have been my behavior? And I came to the conclusion that maybe I would have been even worse, maybe. So uh, I wasn't in the right position to judge. And uh, and then my role, my, my presence in the movie, um, it was, yeah, it was very complicated because uh, again, I mean, when I, um, when I took part of this uh, long trip to from Greece to Serbia with, uh, with all the migrants, 
I, I mean, if you share your uh, daily life with this group of people for, for more than two weeks, uh, you cannot, I mean, uh, be distant. You become part of the group. And of course, I mean, uh, this uh, arise many questions. Uh, what was my answer? Uh, I truly have difficulties to, uh, to answer. Um, I think, as you can see in the movie, as you said before, sometimes people can feel my presence, sometimes as more obs observation, observational. Uh, because I was feeling my, my guts, actually. That's the only answer I can say. I was there, I was afraid, I was uh, excited sometimes, I was happy sometimes, I was sad, I was freaking out sometimes. And I didn't even have the, have the time to, uh, to think about, uh, is this okay if I intervene in the movie or uh, is this okay, if I, is it better if I don't intervene in the movie? I was just feeling my, my blood, my flesh, my emotions. And do you think the, the uh, footage could be seen as an evidence of, of these crimes, actually? Like, isn't there this problem or you, you were aware of that and so there is nothing said explicitly what it is, actually? Uh... I spoke with uh, lawyers and uh, there are much more than that in the footages, much more than that. Uh, there are many ways to, uh, to protect him. Uh, it's, it won't be that easy to uh, relate this, uh, what the audience can see to, uh, to some troubles to forever. We, we talked a lot. Uh, obviously, Hervé doesn't care about uh, consequences. I care, unfortunately. <laughs> and um, uh, he would be okay. He would be okay according to, uh, to a lawyer. So I'm not a lawyer. Uh, in case of any trouble, uh, he won't be alone. That's the only thing I can say. Thank you. Are there any other questions from the, from the audience? Please don't hesitate to ask. I see that in the audience there is your producer, Agnes. Maybe if she wants to say something, <laughs> raise her hand. But I'm, no, no, there is no pressure. Just if, if she feels like she wants to comment on the film. Uh, other, otherwise, well, the, la, the yesterday screening was your uh, world's premiere. So, what are mm -hmm. your plans with the with the film? Where are you going? Again, sorry. Uh, yesterday it was the world's mm -hmm. premiere of the film. What yeah, are your yeah. plans with the distribution of it, or how, how do you want to? Where do you want to screen the film? What's your aim? Uh, it's better to ask to Agnes this kind of thing. <laughs> it's in a better position than me uh, to answer this question about uh, distribution uh, and production. I don't know. I mean, uh, it's. Uh, I mean. Uh, in a couple of words, from my point of view, uh, it needs to be seen. I mean, I would be uh, proud if uh, there would be a, a festival uh, trip uh, during this uh, awful year and uh, next year. And we'll see, that's the only thing I wish for the, for the movie a nice uh, festival journey. Okay, I see in Q&A, Agnes is writing a message that first of all, just congratulations to Gabriel from, for completing this film. So I <laughs> didn't want to speak out loud, but it's okay. Well, <laughs> was, it, was it difficult to find a producer that you fit in with? 
It, this is your question, huh? Okay. <laughs> no, no, the, uh, Agnes, Agnes uh, yeah, Agnes writes a comment and I'm, I'm asking a question. Ah, okay, 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 okay. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, it was uh, difficult, of course, of course. Uh, I started, uh, don't ask me why, but I started very late to the process of finding a producer. I was totally obsessed by filming and then I really just realized that maybe it was the time to, uh, to find a producer. And I participate uh, to uh, some pitch programs. Um, and I mean, I think you know uh, better than me, it's not an easy task. Then with Agnes, we started uh, again, I mean, like uh, with Ave. <laughs> That's a very funny. Um, we started as friends. I mean, uh, we met each other uh, like uh, two friends, not like uh, the relation between a director asking to a producer to produce the, uh, its film. And then little by little, she proposed me to, uh, to, to produce the, the movie. But obviously, it's, an, it's another nightmare to uh, the whole process to find a, a production, especially if it's your first uh, your first movie. No one uh, trusts you. I mean, no, no, it's not easy. Your <laughs> first feature on film, right? Yeah, and first feature. Yeah, first feature. In yeah. Your biography. There's written you're preparing some other film. Uh, you are recording, or you are you are. Uh, shooting with minors uh, is that also a long-term project? Uh, no, no, no. That that was a, um, a, an old project uh, that now is in on hold. I mean, um, I will uh, continue now. Now, now, now my, I'm thinking about uh, returning back to Africa. Uh, and um, well, okay, it's still a secret, but it will regard Africa again. Africa and the relation with their uh, country. So you will be probably uh, uh, co continuing on your team, right? On your... I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with Hervé, you, you are still in touch. Yes, 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 yes. But you're not planning to shoot anymore with him. That's that's close. To, mm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. But uh, okay, now he's living, still living, actually in uh, Thessaloniki, and I moved to Athens. Uh, so I'm I'm not seeing him very often, but we are regularly in contact, and I'm sure for my next project uh, in Africa. If he will have the papers, actually, because it's still uh, undocumented, uh, I'm sure we will uh, <clears throat> uh, collaborate together again. It's not the end of our uh, friendship or uh, creative uh, union. But the film is just closed. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. From Agnes here, did their political views change during the adventure of the shooting? <laughs> Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I became much more cynical. Uh, because you understand uh, in a more bright way the, the hypocrisy of uh, our system. Uh, if you're not confronted to anything radical or uh, extreme, of extreme sufferance, of extreme uh, poverty. You can also only imagine how our society is built on uh, hypocrisy toward uh, uh, those who suffer more than us. But if you are confronted every day for, a, for, for five years, uh, you have this in your uh, bones. I mean, you can feel it every day. It's okay, I mean, it's uh, unfortunately, 
it's a mixture of uh, I became maybe more cynical and that's not good. Um, but at the same time, I'm accepting. I mean, this is the world where, which we're living. Okay, thank you. I guess since there are no other questions, uh, well, thank you for, for, your, for your presence in the debate. Is there anything you. else <laughs> you'd like to add or? I'm okay. I mean, uh, I am just very proud to be, uh, thank you for inviting me and I'm very proud to be part of the festival. Um, that's my first one. So it's a special day or it's a special time. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>